Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, yes, this is Business Coach Malloy with his Monday morning with uh, with Malloy. <laughs> Don't look at your calendars. Yes, it is a Tuesday, but we are with the Monday morning because like in life, there are multiple times when uh, we have to overcome exigencies. And that exigency was we did the Monday morning, yesterday morning at 10 o'clock at our scheduled time. But when we checked it, Guess what? Technical glitch, no audio. But that doesn't mean life stops. So on this Tuesday morning, it is Business Coach Malloy with this Monday morning with, Mal with Malloy. And we will continue. We will do whatever it takes to continue. Because we talk about goals and we talk about achievements. The so last week we spoke about the process of uh, goal setting. Today we are going to focus on achievement what is killing your productivity but before that this is navratri and i'm going and i wish every one of you out there a very happy navratri and a great durga puja for many of us even i did not know this till i read something last uh, on the sunday that there are this 12 nine day periods in a year and each of them is focused on a different aspect of the feminine devi this Navratri, which is around October, this is for us, this is about uh, this year, it's about a couple of days in advance, is considered the most significant because it is dedicated to Sharada, the goddess of learning. Among many things that a human being can do, this tradition lays great emphasis on learning. There are creatures who can run faster than us, stronger than us. They can do many things that we can, cannot do, but there is something that we can do that they can't. They cannot learn like what we can. The pride of being human is just about to learn anything. You can just learn anything if you're willing. And that is what human humanity and human being is all about. Now consider your day today. What is getting done that needs to be done and what's not getting done that needs to be done. Do you find yourself at the end of a long day with your most important tasks completed? Or do you found, find them incomplete and carry it forward to next day's to do? Do you keep pushing your long term goals further and further and further into the future? Today I'm going to quote a lot from one of the one of this legendary business philosophers, Jim Rohn, whom I look forward, look up to, and all of you out there should certainly be looking up to and reading about him and listening to his audios. So the first thing that he said for, for me, first thing for today's uh, life is: if you don't produce, you won't be happy. Productivity is essential to our feeling of self-esteem, accomplishment, and hopelessness. Without it, we can gradually sink into the state of frustration, hopelessness, and regret. No one is responsible for your productivity but you. And you are the one who has to get out of bed every single day and decide how to spend it. It's true that some part, there, there will be situations in life when facts of life will be beyond your control. But for the most part, if your day isn't going the way you want it to go, then you are the only one who can do something to change that. And let's look at some of the facets of change. First, habits. You're not alone if you have the wrong habits. I am not alone if I have the wrong habits. Most people work in such a way that sabotages their best efforts. You have spent hundreds of hundreds of days and multiple years tackling projects and working with clients. So you're well rehearsed with your patterns of behavior. Those habits, however, are at the root why you're killing your productivity instead of boosting, uh, boosting your productivity. These are the same habits which may, will make you defeated when you look at your long-term goals. 
when you feel frustrated at yet another day gone by without any real progress being made towards your big dreams and why you work work and work and work only to find yourself in the same place that you were a year back for people who watch my videos on the youtube channel you would know that there is a video on the difference between a uh marathon with uh, business owner and a treadmill business owner if, if you have not watched it please go out and go out and search for it it gives you the pathetic that most of us are or most many of us are uh, treadmill business owners second let's get real about it it's not it's going to get worse if you don't do something different more days of fruitless efforts are not going to help you live the life of your dreams so question out here is what itself what is productivity and jim ron says activity leads to productivity but that means your activity is just the starting point it's the essential element in the making of productivity it is the minimum requirement you could say without activity productivity cannot exist but activity is busyness not business so but producing uh, something worthwhile takes more than being just busyness we can all find time or or we can all find something to keep yourself occupied during the day so if you could boil down to what are the key facets of productivity there are three things and these are the three things that we will speak about today skill strategy and focused effort If you're working with all these three elements consistently you are maximizing your productivity. So ask yourself today now right now or or whenever you're watching this video am i working with skill strategy and focus efforts on a consistent basis? If your answer is no then evaluate the areas any one of them or all of them where you need the most help and start finding new ways of doing business. So let's look at the first one the skill. Without some skill you're not going to get far and most people have two one of these two problems some people they think they have acquired all the skills so they stop learning so they so they call themselves the know alls don't fall prey to the assumption that you know it all and there's nothing left to learn the second they think they have less skill than they actually do so they don't stop learning while learning is vital to continued growth learning without implementing learning without action is useless stop storing the knowledge you absorb and start experimenting with the knowledge put that knowledge to you that's skill develop the skills but use those skills and put into active use the second strategy success is 20% skill and 80% strategy that's what jim ron says again you might know how to read it but more importantly what's the plan to read a frenzy of activity like we constantly do and especially being in mumbai i see that constantly getting up in the morning running running rushing does not necessarily lead to a lot of real results there will be days when you're totally stressed exhausted frustrated but have made no real progress and if this is what you're going through ladies and gentlemen it's time to have a strategy update because if you don't have a strategy update you will end up in three of these long term results a higher stress level a lower level of satisfaction and a sense of failure at not accomplishing your dreams you may already feel this way right now but you don't have to stay there the best thing is we don't have to stay where we are with a strategy change of strategy strategy reset your productivity and your results could drastically change and that translates into a bright future and you could and you could end up joy with in your daily work a sense of satisfaction and pride a, a life of your dreams and it's possible but for that you really need to have a strategy reset the third and the most important focused effort once you have a strategy now you need to execute it and you need focused effort remember it's not how many hours you put into your day it's what the work that you're putting into your hours that matters 
as jim ron again says you don't get paid for the hour you get paid for the value you bring to that hour and especially true for us as coaches and consultants people say you are only spending 6 hours with us in a month i say it's what i bring into those hours is more important than how many hours i spend with you spend some time evaluating the kind of tasks that you're doing on a daily basis how are you using your hours do you think something pops up consistently which steals your focus you need to ask these questions of yourself are you spending more time on tasks than you originally planned do you get interrupted multiple multiple times in a day do you personally answer every request for help or information and are you have mul- having multiple projects going on at the same time if the answer to any of this is yes you need a focus a refocus work with somebody who will help you identify where your time is going focus effort is not enough one super focused day is not enough to get you where you want to go you have to show up consistently and stay focused on your long term goals to uh, long term uh, plans to reach those goals like jim ron again says discipline is the heart is the bridge between the goals and the accomplishment it's not glamorous but discipline is the heart of real progress and productivity ladies and gentlemen imagine what your life and business would look like if you consistently work in the areas of expertise using your highest skill ex- executing an ambitious but realistic strategy with focused effort imagine the sense of self esteem you would gain the freedom the prosperity you would earn for yourself and your family and the joy and peace you would fully feel uh, that you will have in your work now imagine that this is all possible for you because it is this is possible your skill sets your strategy your focus and your consistency because again like the last quote from jim rohn success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every single day ladies and gentlemen like what we had yesterday we will have these day murphy's law when things go bad everything falls apart these there will be these day but it is important to identify or to realize that we have a purpose what we have spoken about in one of our previous sessions we have a purpose to come onto this planet and we need to fulfill that purpose so get up and start walking on that path of fulfillment of purpose thank you so much for watching thank you so much for staying up uh, with us if you want we have been doing this series today's the 10th episode we will do 20 more it's a series of 30 if you have missed out any one of them please go to the youtube channel so beyond red ocean consulting and access them if you're finding it difficult write to me drop in a whatsapp to me at 98191 Double two one seven zero, and I would ask request some of my team members to send it out to you. We have a life to lead, and let's have a purposeful, successful, happy life. Wish you all again a very happy Navratri, and I will see you next Monday, same place, same time. Till then, have a great week ahead. Enjoy your Navratri, and stay focused. Thank you, friends.